Hello and welcome to my let's play of Graveyard Keeper. Um, this is a new uh, uh, let's play I'm going to be doing. Um, I have played quite a bit of this already, so I, I know for the most part what I'm doing. I have not beaten this game yet, I do plan on beating it soon. But um, for this case, we're just going to start a new game. I'm going to try and do more um, more different types of videos. It is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Ooh. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you merely turn the page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this? What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Alright, so now we are going to find Jerry. Hey Jerry, you in here? Holy sword, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me I need, that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember! Oh sorry, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did he find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the sword are we? Uh... I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Oh, I couldn't read that. You know what, I think we better... F wait, wait, yeah, I might scare the poor thing. Alright. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. Uh... Uh, you you can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm Chief Leader. This cut isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist who owns it. <laughs> and I only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The pretend that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyways, I need to go back to town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you up your new one. What a strange land this is. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to pew. Let's do it. Press E to pick up and drop large items. Okay. Side, I like this place. It feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy tail. Hmm, then what's next? Oh yeah, slice some... Uh, yeah, some of that from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way! This isn't right! Sure, sure. It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with the uh, with the mincia. I know I fucked up that word. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the side up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. I've unlocked new technology. I'm pretty sure uh, talking skulls do lie.
I like your music music in this. You even like the new technology and got all of that. Nice. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Alright, let's take the corpse. Go over here. It is foggy. This graveyard looks kind of a... Uh, kind of a... Uh, yeah. Let's bury it. Uh, unlock... Use blueprint that's what you... Carefully craft... Okay. Let's build a grave site. Let's build it... Uh, let's see, what do I want to build it? I guess we can build it right there. Oh, excuse me. Drop that. And then start digging the hole. Grab that, put that in there, and then bury it. Nicely done. Hmm, let's bury your certificate. I remember money, alcohol. Alcohol, hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, I know. Ask him. Oh, 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 I know. Ask him about the bears. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. <clears throat> Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? And he disappeared. Okay, Bishop, come here. Ah, Keeper, there you are. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard's a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to clerk until you fix it. Current location name, important, yeah. I didn't know it could get that bad, but okay. Uh, I've unlocked the ability to make a wood marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be able to. I'll be pleased to promote you. All right. You look like a spiritual leader. I'm good at. at I'm a good judge of character. Haha. <laughs> I'm good at everything, that's why I'm chosen to represent his will, haha. -ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here, you should check it out. I'll come by again next week, in fact I'll come here every, I assume that's, you know, Sunday, but, I don't know. Maybe I'm not dreaming, did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting, what should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part, it's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about the traditions about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory, haha. <laughs> I have one tiny question. What is this burial bur yeah. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Okay. I'm not the keeper, I was going home from work. I need to go home, there's talking scores forcing me to butcher a corpse. Haha, <laughs> fine joke, I'm into... I'm a humorist myself. Here's one, who is BB? Who? I am, haha. <laughs> Blessed and beautiful, oh god. Uh, let's laugh. Uh, how can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves, it wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Alright. Uh, about the certificate. Can you tell me more about the certificate? It's your payment for laying our brethren to rest. It's all a part of the ancient contract between the, the town and the village. As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Oh god, this seems to be complicated to be a dream. Uh, about the town. Oh, the town is the heart of our glorious land. The palace and the cheese or everything is there you should see it for yourself but in those clothes that would be rather funny haha <laughs> how can i get to the town it's not far from the village it's head south from the tavern and where's the village just go east from the graveyard gate along the old stone road no more questions if you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard you can always craft new ones all right yeah, and I, I can do all of this now. Uh, I don't got anything I can spend at the moment, so let's close that. Go into here. Take all of this. There you 
go. All that to my inventory now. Alright. So let's repair this. And then we can fix this. We'll do the same thing over here. Then I want us to move over to the right there, but we're doing this first. I uh, can't do any more of that. Uh, we can fix this. There you go. And now I got nothing more in there. So let's follow the arrow now. <coughs> Walking all the way to the village, so I can try and sell the meat and the uh, the burial certificate. It's a little bit of a walk, but there's uh, passages underneath the um, underneath my house that I can usually get to other places faster. I will unlock those in due time. We're now in the village. Dead Horse Tavern. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Hordrick. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard and from the yeah, I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry, how can I not have recognized you? Good, this is good. Okay, things are looking bright for a small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure, it's been a while since everybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Uh, about this burial certificate. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificate. Yes, he's right. As a head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I had any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Do you know how I can get back home? Can you tell me where I am? Because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. You're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I travel through time. And what year is it now? Yeah, what do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astro uh, astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that this is oh. <laughs> but I get you. It's two or four after the ancient contract. And what is the name of your beloved kingdom? The kingdom, and it's definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? How do I get a town pass? Hmm, it's rather complicated. Not a single villager has one. The in Inquisition. Uh, in Holy heck, words are hard. <laughs> the Inquis uh, Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you can just something let me think hmm you know there is one villager who got a town pass miss charm maybe she can help you i like to trade some meat meat is a delicacy in our village i'll be glad to buy it i just need to see the royal meat stamp on it many years ago there was an incident with an inappropriate meat ever since all meat must be approved by royal authority and i don't need any trouble with the town does your meat have a stamp Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get the stamp? Oh, you can send a form through the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. 
But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're close. We're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Chime. She comes here every whatever day that is. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Uh, let's trade. Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith? Yeah, I can. Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Guess what, you're gonna take that even though you don't have much money. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how did you know? Well, if you live as long as I have, you probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain, Wardrick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about- Oh, oh, you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Oh, okay. Now let's just go to the blacksmith. Should be just down here. And there he is. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Critchfold. Uh, give him the letter. I have a letter for you from Hordrick. A letter? Of course, one minute away. He can't be bothered to come himself. Uh, I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Mm -hmm. Slime again. Hordrick has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for these pesky little green... But maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the ground or right behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovels sometime. If you manage to uh, get rid of them, bring me the remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up on the other side of my house near the puddles. Alright. Uh, ask him where to find a metal. You know what? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some more? You can find metal ore in swamp soil. There's a huge swamp t to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Ooh, nice. Leave. Uh, right, the grindstone is right behind him. I'm going to do this and then that and then work on it. There we go. Now let's go and deal with these slimes. There we go. I defeated the slimes. Good job. Take this whetstone. Just, just try from your broken tools and they'll be good as new. I can now make jellies. Let's see what else do you have. You have more whetstones. You have some iron. Alright. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, hmm, let's see, I guess the next step would be to work on the farm more. But we're going to talk to him. It's good you know how to use a sword. Krivet told me about how you helped him. Yeah, have a beer. It's on the house. Ooh, nice. Leave. I can now bring the beard to the skull. And it's a walk away. A long walk away, but a walk away. <laughs> the music is so peaceful. I love it. Oh, hello there. Not now, my son. Alright. Psst, come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. Everybody's just okay with me, just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. 
stealing. I remember, there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. You've unlocked new technology. Wheat, exactly. I remember breaking, not breaking, baking bread out of it and pies, mmm, sweet berry pies. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with BSI. You know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Did you bring me a beer? Bring me a beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff like how you can get home. Questions? Uh, ask about the small world. Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magical head with answers? Well, technically, yes. Sorry, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Alright. Well, we can give him his beer now. And it's raining. Good thing the weather doesn't actually affect you. Hey, where's my beer? I have it right here. Uh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. I don't remember too clearly, but it was for doing something similar that I lost my body. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right, I should be more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get home? Easy, I'm sure you could use a portal on Witch Hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? Obviously I don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow, this church has a library in it, so... Or maybe the young astrologer knows. He's a smart boy. How can I get to the library? I'll see through the church and I think you and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar or even the mortgage connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught this fish this side, I got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once, you know what? I need to go. Sure, sure, it's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. Ask about the assaulter. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best, and he was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon. Where's the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's see... Sorry, I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. So he wants a silver quality wine. See you later. Let's see, what is this? Repair, I need two flitch. So you know what? Let's go up here. Oops, getting stuck on things. Place for stones. Place for wood logs. Alright, and you can build things here. So let's see, what do I need to build? I want to build... I guess I need to build a furnace, so I need stone and flitch. You know what, let's start taking out some of uh, the debris. Because I'm low on energy, we're gonna go. Oh, what's that sound? Damn gate! I come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Yeah, I need wooden planks and wood wedges. I got the simple iron parts, but I'm going to probably need that for something else. But for now, let's go and sleep.
I'm so refreshed. This is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a keeper, wow, I've been here for, hmm. How long? I'm York. I'm so lonely, poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. Not exactly sure why I'm here actually, Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're York and he's Jerry. Jerry, funny. Ah, the half-dead skull, that jealous haha. <laughs> he can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding, it's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner. Grave, he's so mean. Could you just get rid of him, dig him up and throw him in the river? I can even give you this license I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Oh. Apparently a ghost wants me to dig up a body. Well, let's do it since I got nothing better to do. <laughs> I don't think it's that one. Don't think it's that one either. It's this one. So let's remove this. And exhume this. And then we're just going to chuck this body in there with it. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, now you're just going to do everything he asked? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha, <laughs> he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that, but because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyways, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Do you know where that river leads? The river is somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need a fire and some wood. Haha. <laughs> it's a bit, bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. You need a nice quiet place like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Oh, okay. So, right here then. I'll be using this area a lot later on. Fortunately, I can't make anything right now for it. I will be able to later though. Okay, let's keep cleaning out this area now. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I need a technology for that. This is my garden where I'm going to be uh, making a lot of plants. The garden, property and forfeiture for a commercial use contract at ta Tavern Order Hordrick. Leave. Can I get over there? I'll chop down this. Oh, I can chop down this tree. Oh, I did not know I could walk behind here. That's cool.
put that in there. Let's see, what did I need to make a furnace? Glitch and stone. Uh, but I don't have the necessary things to do that yet. T can I make it things sign? Here we go. I can make a sawhorse, and I would like to put that. Uh, I'll put it. I'll put it right here. Make a thing a flitch. Now all I need is more stone. And then I can make a furnace. first furnace so it takes up five to be oh well let's just put it right there all right now we will build this okay I I think I'm gonna call an episode here so I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.